if you start with a plain piece of wood, how do you go about making this into different shapes? It depends on what kind of tools you want to use. Anytime you take a raw product and you use tools and machinery to turn it into something useful, what you're doing is manufacturing. Uh, manufacturing has changed over time and we use different tools now than we used too long ago. But all of those tools can accomplish the same functions. So what happens if you want to make a flower that looks like this? There's various ways that you can do that and various levels of automation. Automation is using computers and technology to help us instead of just using our own hands. Carpenters used to do everything by hand. So say we want to drill that hole in the middle of the flower. How would you drill a hole by hand? This is a tool called the brace and bit. The drill bit is here that has sharp edges that allow it to drill into the wood. So the way you would use this is you position the drill bit where you'd like to make the hole, you apply pressure, and then by hand you rotate the drill bit and have it drill into the wood. Which is effective, but it takes a very long time and quite a bit of elbow grease to get the hole to go through. We have a hole, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we can drill a hole by hand, but we can also use technology to help us do it faster and with less work. This is called a power drill. It uses the same drill bit that the hand drill did, except now we have a motor attached with a battery that helps us do some of the work. So with this, we can drill right through. This is a piece of equipment called a CNC mill, which is a computer controlled piece of equipment that we can program to cut whatever shape we want. In this case, we're going to be using this for drilling a hole, just like we use the power drill and just like we use the hand drill. Because this equipment is automated, instead of cranking on a hand drill by hand, all we have to do is hit a button. So now we've figured out how to drill the hole so that we have a nice center for our flower, but what happens when we want to make the petals? Now instead of drilling, we're going to have to use a technique called cutting. One of the earliest methods was just with a saw. These are two examples of hand saws. There are two different kinds of hand saws. One is called a pull saw and one is called a push saw. This is an example of a Japanese pull saw, and what you can see is that the teeth here face a little bit backwards. That means that when you cut, you'll be pulling this direction in order to make the cut. This is an example of a push saw, and you can see that the teeth face slightly forward, and that means that you're cutting while you're pushing the saw through the material. Just like our handsaw had a blade made of metal with teeth on it to cut through our material, this is a machine called a bandsaw that has the same blade right down here, also made out of metal with teeth to cut through our material. But instead of pulling the blade by hand, we have a motor up here which turns the blade for us. So using this machine, we can cut right through our material. Just like using a bandsaw was a more automated way than using a handsaw in order to cut material, a water jet is even more automated. A water jet is controlled by a computer that we can program to cut any shape we want. It takes an abrasive grit and it mixes it with a high pressure, high velocity stream of water that goes through a tiny nozzle to blast through almost any material. The nozzle traces out the contours of whatever shape it is that we want to cut. So today we've looked at using manufacturing processes to make a flower. In order of increasing automation, we've looked at drilling from a hand drill to a power drill all the way up to a computer controlled mill. And then for cutting, we've looked at starting with a hand saw, moving to a band saw, all the way up to an automated water jet. All of these tools do essentially the same things. And at the end of the day, you've turned your plain piece of wood into a beautiful flower. Thank goodness manufacturing has become automated and it's moved from hands-on to hands-off or I might still be here drilling a hole with a hand drill. <laughs>